four common methods to solicit client feedback. Most nonprofit organizations have a mission to serve specific individuals or groups of people. To hold true to their mission, nonprofits need to make sure that their clients are satisfied with the organization's programs and services. As they are in business to serve these individuals, everything they do should be related to providing programs and services that best meet the needs of their clients, resulting in client satisfaction and success. This video article provides four methods in which to obtain client feedback and to assess whether or not, or what degree, clients are satisfied with the services they receive. Number one, verbal feedback. This is where an agency employee or third party representative can ask the client directly how satisfied they are with the services they have received or are receiving. Some clients may not be comfortable speaking with an agency employee. In this case, the organization might want to consider contracting with an outside source that specializes in obtaining and analyzing feedback. Although the solicitation of feedback should be structured to some degree, meaning a specific number of questions should be consistently asked, you will also want to ask open-ended questions to solicit as much information and feedback as possible. For example, instead of asking, were you satisfied with the job seeking skills program you recently completed, you could ask, how satisfied were you with the job seeking skills program you recently attended? Or instead of a question, you could simply say, describe your experience with the job seeking skills program you recently completed. This type of statement generally solicits more detailed information. Number two, written survey. The written survey is a tool agencies can use to send to their clients via email or regular mail. Clients can either identify who they are or remain anonymous. This should be their choice. For clients who elect to identify themselves, they may want to discuss their feedback with an agency representative beyond what they provide in the survey. These types of surveys should ask a predetermined set of questions designed to solicit meaningful feedback and satisfaction with services or programs. Although some questions may require a yes or no response, it is important to have open-ended questions that encourage clients to open up and fully express their feedback and level of satisfaction. Number three, Likert scale. This type of scale has a number of predetermined levels of satisfaction. For example, you could enact a Likert scale that has a rating system of one to five, with one being very satisfied and five being very dissatisfied. Although this type of scale can solicit some feedback regarding a client's level of satisfaction, Remember that it is quantitative instead of qualitative. It will give you some idea of a client's satisfaction, but you won't get the details unless you ask the client to elaborate on his or her numerical rating response. Number four, focus groups. This is when you ask a group of clients to meet with the intention that they will provide feedback and share their satisfaction level with programs and services. You'll want to come equipped with a specific set of questions to ask these individuals. The questions should be designed to engage group members in meaningful dialogue. If clients are shy or intimidated, this might be an excellent form to encourage them to open up, especially if their peers start talking and they can see that their peers' feedback is welcomed and satisfaction is taken seriously. In summary, although there may be some other ways to solicit feedback and satisfaction, the four methods listed above are common and used quite frequently. However, you decide to solicit feedback and satisfaction information, make sure that your clients can either remain anonymous via a conversation with a third party representative or through a written survey, or feel safe in knowing that their responses will not be, will not hinder or prevent them from receiving needed services or result in service providers treating them any differently. After all, every client needs to be treated with respect and feel that they have a voice in shaping the organization's programs and services to best meet the needs of current and future clients, 
thus helping the organization to accomplish its mission. I am an executive and life coach and nonprofit consultant. Although my niche is to partner with nonprofit professionals to maximize their resources in a competitive environment, I am passionate about working with all individuals who are interested in creating positive changes in their professional and or personal lives. Again, my name is Sharon Micra, and here's my contact information. Um, I'm also a nonprofit consultant, as well as an executive and life coach. Creative Coaching is the name of my business. You have my business and fax number, my email address, my website address, and of course, uh, the website addresses for both of my blogs. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Have a great day.